Hey everyone, it's Mike Burge from SuccessfulTennis.com and today we're going to talk about whether to loop or not loop your forehand swing. The advantages and disadvantages will be discussed all the way through the video of which path you should use for your backswing on your forehand and also we're going to talk about the set position or the starting position of your forehand ground stroke. The modern game now calls for the loop more often because it's building the power and building the speed of the racket, but we'll see the advantages and disadvantages of each and let you make a decision on your own. The first clip we're going to look at is Andre Agassi, and Andre is known for his short, quick backswing, and he has the perfect straight backswing. Now the advantages of this straight backswing is that he is faster to react to the ball, and he has a shorter compact swing, less things to go wrong as his motion. Um, in a return of serve, it's the ideal thing, and that's the position he's in right here, is the return of serve. And also, if he decides to step up inside the baseline and take the ball on the rise, it's a lot easier for him with the short backswing to react to the ball. It'll cause the ball to get back onto his opponents a lot faster the earlier he takes it. Notice here how low his racket head is sitting. It's never getting above his shoulders. It's straight back and straight forward and through. This is going to be the best for beginning players, just eliminating as much swing as possible and keeping the swing nice and short. He'll still explode forward through it and still get plenty of speed. James Blake is our next uh, view here, and he has what I call a button hook backswing, where it's just going to take a small backswing but a loop and it's going to go about shoulder high and then drop down into his starting position here. This, the advantage of this is that now when he gets into this position here like Andre was when he first started his swing, um, his racket head already has a little bit of speed on it and that's the definite advantage of having a loop backswing is that, that you're able to build up speed on the racket head as you start through your motion and by the time he gets to contact point his racket will be moving faster than it would be if you just took it straight back and started from this position. It's important to notice that his racket head still gets down into this position. Most people I see that try to hit a loop never get their racket down below the level of the ball like he is here. It's hard to see the ball as it's blended into one of the fans in the background, but his racket is definitely down below the level of the ball and you'll see him as he starts to explode up through it. The next one we're going to look at is Rafael Nadal, and he has what we'd refer to as more of a full loop. It's a little higher and even more than, than what you saw out of James Blake. What you've got here is, this is his set position, so when he makes his turn, this is where he sits it, with both hands on the racket and it has its definite starting point. The advantages of having a definite starting point and a definite finishing point means that you're consistent with your swing. They're the same every single time. You started it in the same place, you finished it in the same place, and it looks the same every time. Whether you started here like Rafael Nadal does, or whether you started in a straight back turn like Andre Agassi did, you still need to have a set position. The more consistent your swing path is, the more consistent your result is. Notice where his racket's going now going way up over his head and then down. But again, his racket is down below the level of the ball before he starts to explode up. A loop, all it does is build up speed on the racket head, but it definitely does drop down below the ball before he starts up forward. So to review, the straight back swing, the advantage is that it's short and compact, there's less room for error, and you can react to the ball a lot faster. You can get to your contact point more quickly on faster moving balls like return of serves. The disadvantage is you definitely don't build up as much speed on the racket head, which means a decrease in power. And we all know how important power is in the game right now. With the loop, the advantage is, of course, that you can hit the ball harder and you have but the disadvantage is it takes longer to get there, so you need to be prepared right away. You have to make sure that your preparation is flawless in order to execute a good loop swing. 
Also, remember about the set position. Whether you take a straight back turn or whether you take a loop turn, make sure you have a starting point, a set point where you're starting from. For more tips, lessons, and, and tennis instruction, please feel free to check us out at SuccessfulTennis.com, and we'll look forward to seeing you there.